Hi everyone, Dr. Airplays here. Welcome to uh, another Steam Next Fest demo. Uh, this one is for Into the Pit, which is uh, an action roguelike first person shooter, I believe. Um, again, with all these ones, I literally just go into the roguelike section and think, oh, that looks interesting, we'll have some of that. Um, and away we go. So here we go, pressing the key. Oh, there's the starting screen. Um, and we're going to play what is going on here. So I'm just going to change the audio because the master volume there is a little bit high. So we'll just pop that down, go back. Uh, back. And let's start the game. Uh, we'll have an empty slot there. Let's go. Don't know anything about this. 20 to 25 minutes. We're going to see what it's about. The aesthetic is interesting. It's meant to look like this. <laughs> Liridia, my cousin, they call me foolhardy, but you are more reckless than ever, even our grandfather. Your pursuit of arcane knowledge is admirable, but this time I fear you have gone too far. Okay, that was the introduction. <laughs> okay, press a button. Okay then. I know there's an exclamation mark over there, but I want to look around. Oh, what are you? Press E to talk to the merchant. Oh, hello, Outlander. I'm afraid you have caught me at a bad time. Normally I'd be able to offer you valuable exchange services. However, my vault is locked and my ink was dry. My business is to serve the villagers in monetary matters, exchanging moats and whatnot. However, most of my normal clients are lost within the pit, due to some incident involving the alderman. There is simply no point in operating my business without clients to provide for. Eighteen or so returned villagers would make it worth my while. Go forth and ex extricate them. Returned villagers. Oh, hello, crow. You fly away? No, you don't fly away. You allow me to stand on you. So I guess we go in here. Talk to the town clerk. Ruination is upon a stranger. A profound evil emanates from the Great Pit. Our beloved alderman has abandoned us, and most of the villagers have vanished with him. It also appears that an invisible Demogorgon, Demogorgon, ha ha, uh, currently curses you, restricting your powers. The remaining villagers are too scared to do anything, but perhaps the ritual keeper could help. I beg you, go speak with him. His alcove is in the tunnel across the plaza. Okay. So there's a big, big old hole down here. The ritual keeper. An outlander. Perhaps you can rescue us from this disaster. I am the custodian of the ritual chamber. It is my job to watch over the pit. Are you, it used to be a source of great riches for the village, but now it threatens us all. The alderman and his runesmiths have overstepped the mark with forbidden rites. A series of demonic quakes scattered the villagers and an evil storm surrounds us. I beg you enter the pit. Drive back the evil and rescue our companions. There are enough runes on the shelf in this corridor to perform the basic ritual. Go beyond me into the ritual chamber and place runes within the glowing sigil to open the pit. Okay. Once the pit has been opened, you must steal yourself and plunge into its depths. When you are within the first altar chamber, look for my image on a scrying orb and we will speak further. Well, okay. oh, hello. Did the ding? Right, so... Um, Press E to access the ritual signal sigil. Okay, so I have what? Ah, okay, so I can put in an early renewal, second wind, and health. We'll pop in health. Uh oh, I see, okay, right, so another rune of health. Oh no, okay, so I can't do that then. Uh second wind, bring its journey to the pit with the cheat death ability partly charged. Okay, nice. Now we'll take early renewal. I need to get one more, I think. Keep the obsidian fort. Okay, confirm ritual. Okay, then, so you have modifiers on each run, then, I'm guessing. In we go. Bye bye. The obsidian fortress, depth one. Well, already I'm interested in this. This is certainly a clever way of doing things. It reminds me of Hexen, if anyone remembers that. Hello there. Yes, Outlander, it is me, but this far-casting spell won't last for long, so listen carefully. In each level of the pit, there are four altars that you need to activate in order to dive deeper. To activate an altar, you must enter the chambers leading from this room and destroy the keystones hidden within. Activating an altar will also reward you with an orb of power. Absorb it to increase the potency of your abilities. The keystone chambers also contain healing pools, lost villages, or treasure in the form of elemental moats. Some moats you can trade for runes in the village. Others will help you progress here in the pit. I will give you three orbs of power now. You can select spells to cast from both your hands and enchantments for your armour. Use your powers wisely, enter the chambers, and destroy the keystones within. Right, so I get all of these, yeah? Okay. Uh, right, so I'm going to take the cannon, I think. That's right, long range, high power. We'll take that one. Okay. And then we'll take that one. 
Uh, haste, increase your movement speed. When you're bleeding, your damage is increased. Ooh, increase your maximum health. I think that's the sensible one to do. And then the bomb. Fire slow moving but explosive long range projectiles. Absorb this power in your right hand. Short range blast projectiles fired in quick bursts. Absorb this power in your right hand. Fires long range cluster of projectiles. I'm going to take the shotgun, I think. That will get me out of trouble, I think. Yeah, we like that. Okay. So do I go in here first? Where do I go first? Do I go down or...? Ah, Chamber of Blood. Ooh, lovely. Chamber of Renewal. Okay. What are you, a Chamber of Embers? Okay, let's go Chamber of Embers. Ashen one. Destroy three keystones. Okay. What's a keystone? Oh, hello. I don't know what that was. Oh, you're dead. You're very dead. Hello. Oh, audio is a little bit weird there. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? You're kind of tough. Not tough enough, though. Oh, ow, 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 ow. So aiming works, but I'm not very good at first-person shooters, as you've probably seen. Oh, hello. I thought I got you there. You're dead now. That's you done. Okay, hold E to destroy the keystone. Ow, 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 ow. I'm dying. That's that done. I only have 66 health left. That's not enough. Ooh, don't be bad. It's quite... I can play Quake, that's fine. We'll get that, that's not health, sadly. Motor fire. What are you? Go away. Don't like you. Oh, I missed you. I'm going too fast. Movement speed is high, I will say. It's not always a bad thing. Come on. Two out of three destroyed. Where's the third one then? It's up there somewhere. How do I get up? I can jump, but I can't jump very high. So let's go back this way. Can we go this way? Yeah, we can go around here, I guess. Oh, maybe not. Ah, I almost made that. Oh, crack. That hurt. That's not something I can climb then. Not this one down here, is it? Straight wet. Oh, it is. Haha, <laughs> I'm silly. Okay, well, that's that one done. Depth one, Chamber of Embers complete. Oh, we only collected seven out of eight moats. That's a shame. Okay, let's see what you've got for me then, far a Ritual Keeper. Now you've survived a Keystone Chamber, you must select your reward. If none of the options please you and you have enough moats of renewal, you can summon up a new selection. Spell upgrades come in different power levels, and gathering moats of luck will increase the appearance of the higher level options. For this orb, I have used my powers to grant you the highest upgrades, but after this you must rely on your own luck. Now collect your reward, activating the remaining altars in this chamber, and dive deeper into the pit. Okay, so what do I get here? Okay, enfeebling bolts. Weakness, okay. Uh, projectiles from right hand apply bleeding to your enemies. Oh, that's quite nice. And increase your maximum health from 10 to 40. I kind of want this one. I'm going to take that one. So it's a little bit powerful now. A little bit more powerful. So that's a renewal one. That's no, Chamber of Wealth. Might be good. Another Chamber of Embers. Chamber of Renewal. Chamber of Healing. Okay, we'll take a Chamber of Healing. Sounds pretty good to me. Never going to say no to a bit of health. Thank you. Destroy one keystone, which I shall do. I don't think there's any enemies in this, looks good. Okay. Ten seconds. Yeah. Speed run. Right, we don't get anything, we do get something. Right. We get accuracy, which is quite nice. Increased critical hit chance as well. Ooh. I don't think you want extra range. Uh we'll take accuracy, I guess. And then we've done those two now. So let's go over here. That is Chamber of Embers, let's go. open the door and then let's now uh, my accuracy isn't that good from that way yeah. 
A little bit of bleeding on there is pretty good. Haha, <laughs> I bleed to death. Hey there. Well, the range isn't actually that bad. I'm aware I'm missing things. Uh, I'm also aware I'm trash at these sorts of games. Ow. Right, the jump is pretty good. That's fine. We'll uh, just destroy this one here. It's two out of three. There's some moats down here, so I'll grab that. Not sure if that was something I could destroy. More moats. Nope, can't do anything with that, that's fine. Oh, hello. You wouldn't mind just dying for me, please. Yeah. And we'll play it the sneaky way. Boom, three out of three keystones. I'm liking this a lot. 129, ah, seven out of eight again. Keep missing the simple ones. So we've got explosive seed. Plant seed that has a chance to explode, 15% chance. I'm gonna take that, that sounds good. My right hand is now really powerful. There's a joke in there somewhere. I will let someone else make that for me. Uh, right, what do we got here? We've got the Chamber of Blood. All right, let's try the Chamber of Blood. We've not tried that one. Oh, bye-bye. I'm going to go this way first. Hello. Give me your moats. Right, early Destiny 2, give me your emotes. Okay, no, right, maybe not. I heard you up there. Yeah, I'm not liking the sniper shot, that's no good to me. Anyone over there? No, okay then. Ow, how dare you. Just check and see if there's anything else. No, we'll just kill that birdie thing, whatever it is. Literally panicking because I'm swearing there's people around me. Okay, we missed another moat, I'm guessing. No, two. Oh dear. So that is three out of four. Let's get another upgrade. Blowing bolts. Okay, again, right hand. Um. Check those from your left hand. Or quickly if you have not cast my hand for a few seconds. That won't be too bad. I don't want movement speed because I actually want to slide down a little bit. We'll take the left hand one. And we've done four out of four altars, so we have to go down, I guess. Right, press E to leave this dungeon depth. Dive deeper into the pit. I reckon we've got to do that because I've not found anyone yet, so there's no point in me going back. Okay, the keymaker can craft special key rooms for the ritual signal. Okay. What we got now? Hello, oh hello, you are right in. Well done, Outlander. You managed to descend from the level above. Now you are familiar with how these chambers work. Be sure to look out for my lost friends. There are a number of villagers hiding within each dungeon. If you can find any chambers of the lost uh, and speak to them, I'm sure they will feel safe returning to the village. If enough return, they might be able to offer you further help. Okay, it's chambers of the lost. Chamber of blood. Chamber of luck. Go for luck. What the heck are you? You were scary. Oh, hello. I just Mario you. Is that something I need to touch or? Oh, that was a nice. You're dead. That's not I need to. Oh no, you explode. Oh, hello. How am I not hitting him? Oh, it's his shield. Yeah, I've got you in the end. Sniped you. Let's 
get this the keystone. Stone here as well. Except there was a thing there. What's you done? Only on 48 health. This is quite low. Hello. Have some critical. More moats. Ah, oh, I missed him. That's that one done. Yep, okay, fine. In your face. It's all moats collected, lovely, and there's a keystone. Kaboom. Right, 210, 7 out of 7, 15 out of 15. Let's go. Just wanted to prove I can actually do one properly. Right. Persecution, accuracy. Accuracy is not too bad. Increased critical hit chance, and I've already got critical hits anyway on there. Uh, poison on melee attackers. Well, that might not be too bad. So that's people, I guess, who hit me. Uh, projectors from me, I can do extra damage to enemies with two or more afflictions. I don't have afflictions. Uh, so I'll take poison. Why not? It would at least give me some protection. We have Chamber of Blood. Chamber of Wealth. Alright, let's go for the wealth. I'm all about money, money, money. That's a terrible shot. That's going to hurt me, isn't it? Kaboom! Kaboom! You could just pop for me, thank you. Let's get this keystone. Oh, did I miss it? Okay, that's one out of three. Spikes on the floor, I'm guessing. You could not do that. Ouch, what's hit me? in the face. How did I not hit you? These guys with the shield are annoying. Yeah, you're not getting through me that way. Yeah, I had a feeling that would hurt me. I just wanted to test. There's a lot of actual like threats and things in this one. Oh, I'm only on 17 health. We need to be careful. Can we make it? Yeah, easy. Not a scorpion. Not that it really matters. Let's get that keystone. We got all the moats as well. I don't think we got all the monsters, but we will see. We did. Press any button to continue. What do you give me now? Enfeebling again. Weakness isn't too bad. Uh, replaces slicing boss. Oh, it replaces something. Ooh, curse plus two. Causing outgoing attacks to hurt the attacker. Oh, yeah. We'll take that one. Okay. Uh, so, this one over here, we have Chamber of Luck again. Chamber of Renewal. I'll get some health back, so I'm only on 17. I was hoping it was just going to be health, but it uh, appears to be. Lots of enemies. Come on, him. No, no, back off. So each one of those doesn't give me health, which is annoying. What are you? Why are you blue? Go away. Get away from me. Right, at least I can shoot from here. That's quite nice. 
relative comfort and safety. Go on, attack me. Go on, I dare you. Ah. Hopefully, some health, maybe? Down to 10. Nope, that's not health. It is not what I wanted from my chamber of renewal. It is not to renew me. Hello. That looks like something I can go up. Nope, maybe not. Okay. Hello. And no headshots, maybe? I'm not too sure. Two out of three doors and things. I'm wondering if they, uh, no, they don't seem to lead somewhere. Oh, hello. Just needed to back away from you. The moat. I see ya. In your face. Right, all moats collected. That's good. Let's go. So, did that not give me health? I thought that's what a renewal one did. I'm guessing not. Completed it, though. Right, projectiles from your enemies under 20% health. Slows melee attackers. I kind of want that. Or well, that one is just plus 10% damage. Two or more afflictions, though. We'll take the slowing blood. What have we got here? That's renewal again. That is... is that the Lost? That's the Lost, isn't it? We get a person. Okay, so it's just one keystone. Oh no, we need to go here. That's lo Lost Village. Well, finally, I heard that a stranger had entered the pit, but it's taken you long enough to find me. Get on with it and destroy the keystone so I can get back to my home. Okay, is there only one of you? Yeah, it looks like it. Can I see you in there? Clearly not. Yeah, there's only one, so let's just destroy the keystone. And away we go! What do we get from this one then? Okay, piercing enemies, yes. Yes. Okay. So, I actually want to go back to the village this time. So we should have a person in the village somewhere that I need to go and find. Hello there. That's the town clerk again, okay. Where's that person then? Ooh, this person here. The Rune Carver. Thanks to your efforts and the support of my returned companion, we have managed to reassemble the machines and reopen the workshop. But the Demogorgon curse that surrounds you means I cannot sell to you right now. My workshop can offer a small but powerful set of support rooms for you if you have the materials. Of course, with more villagers returned, I might be persuaded to offer more wares to you. And here we go. This is where we get the more runes. So we got eight motes of gold and 14 of fire. None of renewal for some reason. Thought I would have got that. Um, so they're all owned, that's fine. They're unavailable in demo, which is a shame. But there's lots of them. Okay then. Right. That is certainly interesting. He maker. And you are not so talkative, I see. Well, you don't need to talk to the monsters, do you? There are plenty of them around at the moment, crawling out of the demonic realms of the pit. I am, of course, an expert in the understanding of these demons and their lair, and I can craft powerful runes, so it's key to access their evil realms. However, with so many villagers lost in the pit, there is little point in running my workshop. Please rescue the fools, and we will see what we can do. Okay. Go oh, away, stranger. I'm trying to find my books. Where are they, the damn things? Did some foolish scribes take them into the pit? I cannot upgrade your runes. Okay. Without my books and scribes to consult. If you want my help, I suggest you leave me alone and go rescue some of my more wayward colleagues. Everyone's so rude. I already took, spoke to the merchant. That's fine. There's nothing up there. Who are you? That's the actual, yeah, the town clerk. Oh, hello. Doctor Who. Um, a rune of calamity I've just found. Okay. You must delve deeper. Go further into the pit until you found my friends. I fear that even our precious alderman might be lost down there. Or worse. Okay, so that... Uh, is into the pit, which I have thoroughly enjoyed. Let's just see what the ritual keeper says. 
By now you should know the evil logic of these chambers, but also that there are more twisted dimensions within these depths. Three enough villagers and a key maker will offer you additional runes. Okay. Once you obtain two of these keys, we'll gain the ritual signal. Wow, okay. Gain a second key rune. Okay. So there is plenty more in here to do and see. Um, I'm wondering if there's other runes and things. Hello, the pit there. Um, yeah, there's a lot to this game. I'm definitely going to be buying this one, I think, when it comes out. Um, yeah, that is Into the Pit. I'm going to leave it there. If you want to play this, obviously, links will be down in the description, right below that subscribe button. Um, other than that, my name is Dr. Plays. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.